Okay, we made it onto the uh, Facebook here. Um, and so I want to guide us into meditation as usual, and then uh, it'll be a little bit shorter, uh, but then we're going to talk about slave to the truth. So meditate, we just sit quietly, and we repeat the mantra, Yoda, and in breath, hand the out breath, Wa, and in breath, hand the out breath. Uh, and when your mind's quiet, then you're in meditation. We start with me kind of looking into this uh, and giving you the Shaktipad energy. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. And we'll go right in the meditation. And here we go. Yo just repeat the mantra, yo in the in-breath, hand the out-breath, yo from the base to the heart, eight to the heart, wa from the base to the third eye, and then out through the heart. Okay.
So what we're talking about here is being a slave to the truth. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's two levels of truth. One level, I'm waving at everybody. Everybody says wave, but it's a little destructive. But one level is, is faith in the truth that there's only God. That's the highest truth. Okay. That, that's, that's the bottom line of the bottom line. In the Kabbalistic teachings, we, we go back to Rabbi Nachman in 1802 where he's talking about that, okay? So the real faith is from your direct experience, even though you may have it just once, that there is a, an ultimate truth and that ultimate truth is God. There's only God. Okay, no. Level one. But... When you're a slave to the truth, it also means your daily life in a different way. It means holding the integrity, living by the truth that there's only God, but also there's God in every moment, and making every thought be an expression of that. So the way it works is it, it, we kind of before thought is an energy, we have a thought, love, peace, God, and everything. And then that comes out as uh, words, and then sentences, and then action. And so, being a slave to the truth means every thought manifests in, in truth, that there's only God, in every action. And there we're truly liberated, because we're free to just be the truth in every action, in every thought, in everything we do in our life. That's a tremendous responsibility, but it's also freeing because you can't just be a slave of the truth if you are not, if you still are remain attached to the, your, your body and your mind as the truth. And so the deeper truth, which is what I talk about in my new book, um, it just got really, it's a, it just got released on October 2nd, Into the Nothing is the commitment to totally live in the truth in every moment the best we can. Are we perfect? No. That's not the point. It's the commitment to be living the truth as much as we can. That's really what matters here. And in a liberated state, you're more free to do that. Now, self-realization is not the same as God-realization, God-merging, where that's all there is. But from self-realization to God-merging is, is a spectrum. And the more that we're able to be, and then even pre-liberation, the more we're committed to living in the truth that in every moment we're honoring the divine in every action, every thought. That's really the secret to being a slave to the truth. And a liberated person is a slave to the truth. May you be blessed that you know that level of liberation and that level of truth in your lives. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om shanti, shanti, shanti. Om atakyo asam. Aho. Oh.